Hello everyone and welcome on this new deeper analysis video on the gold from Extreme Trader. This is Stella speaking. Before we start, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and kindly share the video. So here in this video, actually, guys, we're going to analyze the gold and let's see now what are actually the opportunities waiting for us in the next week. So first of all, I would like to move to the weekly chart. Now what we will do in the weekly chart is the same what we have been doing for the last month. So meaning we will just check here the support trend line from this lower low all the way to this higher low, just like that. What we will do next is simply drag the very same line right here or, or actually clone it and place it right there exactly right here at the previous level of a resistance trend line, which has already become right here a support trend line last week. Now, let's do something interesting, shall we? Let's draw here a zone of a resistance zone, a resistance trend line. So that means that right now we do have right here, of course, a previous level of a support trend line zone and a resistance trend line zone and another resistance trend line zone, which has been recently broken out from with that bullish breakout candle. And now, remarkably, the candle right here for the last week has made a strong pullback after reaching the same zone right here. And I mean, it made a pullback for around 475 pips. That's interesting. That means that most likely the gold is going to continue the rise at least to reach the nearest level of a resistance, which is at 2386.06. I believe that the gold will continue the rise at least to reach it. Uh, that means that we still have around 500 pips more to go. So by this analysis, we are making sure that the gold most likely is going to continue the rise. So let's delete now everything and let's now move to the daily chart. Now, here we can see that the gold has made actually a bullish reversal right here exactly at the bracket of 2300, um, sorry, 2330. And another pullback happened right here exactly at the price of 2298. Now, why did the reversal happen right here and right here? Why the reversal didn't happen exactly right here on the same level horizontally? Why did the gold fall, fall for about 426 pips uh, till it made the next bullish reversal. What was the reason? Let me just tell you something, guys. My strategy is really trusted and very powerful one, and I'm teaching it here for free. Let me show you one of the reasons. Uh, let me just show you if we draw here a resistance trend line from this lower high to this lower low, just like that. Now, what you can do right now is simply use the same line right here to find all your next setups in buying the gold, regardless if you are actually on a support resist, uh, uh, support, uh, tr uh, support trend line or a resistance trend line. It no matter will always work very well. Now, check this out right here. That is exactly my strategy. Look at that right here. We can see clearly that we, if we actually use the same support trend line earlier uh, and place it right here on this level of a support trend line, we could actually have uh, caught those uh, pips. And as you can see, the gold has indeed re uh, resumed the rise. So therefore, I believe that the gold is going to continue the rise. So let's now, I mean, we have made sure that on the weekly chart and daily chart, the gold is indeed going to continue the rise. Now let's move to the four hour time frame. Now here on the four hour time frame, what we can do, actually, I would like to use the same line that I have drawn earlier, right here, just like that. I want to use the same line to find the next setup. So let me just place it right there and now move to the four hour time frame. Now we do have the same line and check this out right here, my friends. If we just place the line right here exactly, exactly right there at precisely on this level of a key support trend line, Let's take a look at what happened in the past. In the past, this was, of course, a resistance trend line number one, number two, and those were actually a fake breakout. However, the same level of a resistance trend line has indeed been respected. And right here, it became a support trend line, as we can see, even right here. So we have attempt number one, two, three, four, five, and then we are having here the bullish breakout happened from that level. And again, look at this tail. That tail right here simply represents a resistance trend line as well. However, long story short is actually, my friends, I believe we can buy the gold exactly right here after it make a pullback and continue the fall till it reach this level of horizontal support exactly, just to be precise, exactly right there, exactly at 2325.74. That, in my opinion, going to be the best level to start buying the gold. 
And of course, uh, if we do that, I would highly recommend that our safe zone should not actually exceed the bottom of the real support right here and right there exactly at 2304. However, if we do that, let's now take, the, let's, uh, take a look at the take profit level. Now, how can we identify the best levels for take profit level in a way that it can actually be somehow secured? Well, again, we will use the same principle. Look at that. We will draw here a support trend line from this higher low to this higher low, just like that. And we will do, what we will do next is simply place the same line right here and place it right here exactly right on the next level of a resistance trend line, which has actually become already a support trend line as well. Now, that has got to be our take profit level, which means the gold most likely will continue the rise. Actually, it will continue the rise till it reaches the resistance at 2392. But for our take profit level, and just to be safe, I would highly recommend that this is going to be our take profit level right here exactly and precisely at this level of a previous resistance, which is the nearest resistance to that bearish breakout candle. And also it's matching up with that resistance trend line, which most likely is gonna be respected. So therefore the gold, my friends, in my opinion, will respect this level of a support zone right here, and then continue the rise till it reach the edge of the resistance trend line, plus the nearest level of a resistance right here. And afterward, we don't know what will gonna happen. Most likely it will continue the rise, but just to secure the profits, I would like to close the trade exactly right there. And that means that we are looking for around 446 pips of profit and a safe zone that might be ranging for around 205 pips. Let me know, please, my friends, write the signal for you. And there you have it. There is gold, there is your uh, gold signal. And again, my friends, don't forget to join, of course, our free group of Telegram to stay connected to us and to be part of the team. And of course, this group is completely free to join. You can find the link in the description below of this video. If there is anything or updates about this signal, I will update you personally right here, uh, such as this one right here, where actually I have told everyone to close the gold signal uh, from deeper analysis on gold on 140 pips of profit. Um, the reason for that, of course, is to secure those pips. We don't want to risk staying in the trade for a long time. I have noticed a strong bearish movement on the gold that day, and therefore I had to inform everybody here to close it in profit, even though it went in 300 pips of profit later. However, make sure to join this free group of Telegram and stay connected and trade with the team of Extreme Trader. So until then, I hope that is informative to you, and I would like to thank you for watching.